we can do with this big giant thing.
Otherwise, you gotta blow the chips away. He did. <laughs> he looked at me like that ain't gonna work. Like, nope. on it, hands free, 
and you just let it eat. That technique seems to do the very best. You'll actually feel it kind of bump up a little bit sometimes when it's got a real good bite. Did you see it pop up? Now all you do is push it down a little bit. Not pushing it down much. Whenever it starts to bite, I let up and just let it go. Um, I don't do the continuous on. I'd rather, I'd rather have my thumb on it and be ready, but I figured I'd show you guys. I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing on it. And you can kind of see when it, you can feel when it starts getting light. And I just, I give it a little bit of, give it a little bit and stay off of it. It does really good. I'm going to get the rest of this done and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Because I'm, we're just going to pile up all the, uh, all the wood shavings on top of the stump so he can burn it up. He's going to put a little bit of something down in there to get it started. We, I augered the center really, really deep. See, I'm hands-free, and I'm still augering the hole. Uh, but uh, we're gonna, we're gonna just pile the chips on top of the stump and just burn, burn the rest, the rest of the stump out with the chips. So, anyways, you guys have a good one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you can use that technique to use your Dan user uh, stump planer and get some stumps out of the ground. Thanks.